Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great new year. My name is John Vine, and today what we're going to be talking about is how you can work remotely in 2021, right? So maybe what you want to do is, you know, wake up in the morning, you don't have to commute anywhere, you can just roll out of bed, get on your desk, and, you know, start working. Maybe what you want, to, like your dream is to, you know, live in Bali or like live some nomadic lifestyle where you can work your job normally, but just, you know, in a different place, you can live, you know, on the beach and work remotely from there whatever it is what i want to do is try to help you guys you know achieve your dream and be able to work remotely from wherever you want now obviously you know with everything going on right now working remotely is a lot easier and a lot more accepted than it was you know maybe a year ago and i know that when i made the choice to become a software engineer one of the things that i really wanted to do and one of my goals was you know to be able to work remotely so that i don't have to commute you know i've done it before and i've worked many positions where i had to commute one to two hours one way and then one way back and then the same back and I really did not enjoy it and I really wanted to work remotely and you know one of the good things about this year is, is that my job moved full time to remote work and everyone's working remotely now and it's great and I just wanted to give you guys the perspective of a software engineer and, and basically tell you what to expect if you're trying to make that switch remotely maybe your company isn't doing remote work yet and you want, you really don't want to commute to the office and you want to work remotely. So I just wanted to give you guys some expectations, what you should expect and how you can work towards achieving your dream of working remotely. So if you're new to the channel, what we do here is we talk about software engineering at a high level. I give you guys my experiences and some tips on how you can achieve your dream of becoming a software engineer. And I do the best I can to help you guys achieve your goals. So guys, like I said before, when I became a software engineer and I made the choice to, you know, become a full-time software engineer, one of the, one of my goals in my head was, okay, I want to work remotely that like, I love the idea of it, of not having to commute and just waking up and and coding and as well as you know working for a career I have a great passion for and making more money that was one of the things that was you know on my checklist I needed to work remote I needed to be able to work wherever I wanted and I'm sure that many of you guys have the same desires so one of the things I want to say about working remotely is that most of the time companies that are gonna hire remote workers really want people that are more experienced right when you hire someone to work for you remotely there's a lot more trust involved um, there's a lot less hand-holding and they expect someone to come in and be able to, you know, get the ball rolling right away and not having, not have to, you know, hold your hand or tutor you through every single little thing. They want you to be able to, to start work and be as efficient as possible by yourself, right? Working remotely, working from home is like a super independent, your bosses aren't going to really know if you're doing the work or not. They're just going to rely on you and trust you to get the work done you know, before the deadlines and, may, and do a good job. So my first thing that I would recommend is to gain some experience. If you're right now thinking of becoming a software engineer or you're, you're already a software engineer and you're not working remotely, I would try to get more experience so that you can dictate where you want to work from, right? If you're experienced and you know what you're doing, a lot of companies are going to want to hire you. And basically, if you're experienced and you know what you're doing and you're a very valuable employee, the odds of you becoming a remote worker are much higher, right? Than if you're a brand new, no experience junior developer, then the odds are a bit lower. What you want to do is gain some experience. You want to gain some confidence so that you can work remotely no problem and you, and so that you'll know that your bosses can trust you and, and so that they will know that as well this could also apply to you if you're no if you're you know in a more rural city where there's not as many jobs readily available or even if you're in a different country right I live in Canada and finding a job in the US seems to be more realistic for someone in Canada but you know these days you can work remotely from anywhere I know people that are living in Europe working remotely for companies in the US making salaries in USD and you know living quite well so you know these days guys it's really realistic and a, a really good opportunity that you should definitely take take advantage of and I would encourage all of you guys to try to work remotely if you guys like this content about working remotely and want more content about it in the future like how to work effectively from home how to make sure you're as productive as possible if we can get this video to 50 likes I'll make some more videos covering this topic so guys like down below if you want more videos like this one now one thing I will say though if you're only getting into software engineering if you only want to work if you only want to code for a living just so you can work remotely and that's your only motivation you know that's a dangerous that's a dangerous kind of road to go on because you know that's just having that as motivation isn't gonna cut it and isn't gonna really motivate you to learn how to code right it's the same thing with the money if you don't have a passion for coding and you're just doing it for the money eventually i think that um, you know, your your motivation is going to run out and that's when your discipline is going to have to come in. And uh, and I personally find it hard to maintain my discipline without any good motivation. And like I said, if your only motivation is I want to be able to work in my pajamas, then I think you're going to need more than that. That being said, it's a great goal. So one of the things you have to understand also, if you're just starting off how to code right now and you're learning how to code is that you really should have realistic expectations. I know that these days there's a lot of remote jobs, but if you're if you're brand new to the to the field and you're 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 just starting out learning how to code, you might have to accept the fact that your first position or maybe your first two position, maybe 
you know, your first year or two in the field, they might not be remote, right? Because you're not as experienced, you don't have the technical know-how and you're gonna need more hand-holding, more tutorials from the more senior developers in your company and that is a lot easier to do when you're in person, right? When you're in person in an office, it's a lot easier to communicate very effectively and especially as an intern or a junior developer, I've been there before, being in person and having, you know, the other developers there right beside you makes your job so much easier as opposed to, you know, doing it over a Zoom call or doing it or messaging on Slack, having to wait a couple of minutes. And it, it's really um, a lot easier to get your work done as a junior developer when you have other mentors around you in person. If you don't want to, if you don't want to accept that, right, if you want to start off your first job, you want to work remotely, then, you know, I'm all for it. But you just have to understand that it's going to be significantly harder. I think um, finding a, a remote position and getting a company to hire you off the bat, you know, your first job completely remote is going to be a lot more difficult. And you're really going to have to prove to them that you have experience, that you can be trusted. First and foremost, guys, you have to you have to show that you can be trusted and that you can get the work done without them having to, you know, message you every five minutes and make sure that you know are you are you working are you getting your work done you know you're, you're not sleeping or something who knows but um it's going to be harder but i think it's definitely realistic and if you want your first job to be remote go for it just know that it's going to be uh more difficult than you know the more generic route that a lot of developers take including myself i feel like if all the stuff didn't happen that forced us to work remotely i feel like i would have still been working in in the office so guys working remotely right off the bat is definitely possible is you just have to understand it's going to be more difficult what you guys have to also think about is the perspective of the company right if i haven't convinced you yet think about being a company and hiring a developer right if you're spending a lot of money it's very expensive to hire someone and if you're spending a decent amount of money hiring someone you want to make sure that it's someone you can trust right and if it's some college grad that has no experience it's going to be a bit more questionable when you hire them to work completely remote you don't know how productive they're being there's a lot of more question marks as opposed to a software developer with years of experience also what you're going to realize in the job market as you're searching for remote for a remote position is that there's probably going to be a lot less jobs available for junior developers right for the reasons I said below. So finding these jobs that are, you know, for junior developers and that are completely remote is going to be harder. And that's another reason why, why it's going to be significantly more challenging to get a remote position right off the bat. What you need to do is you need to be skilled. You need to be confident in your coding. You need to be able to code very well. And you need to learn how to market yourself. If you can market yourself in a way, you, t you have a ton of code on GitHub. You have a great resume. You have great side projects. That'll, that'll increase your chances of getting a remote position as a junior developer so much more than if you're just some random, you know, with just a resume, no, no side projects no experience why would someone want to hire you right this ties into everything I've been saying on this channel and to really get a position as someone with no experience you're gonna to have to put the work in especially if you want the luxury of you know working remotely and working from home as a junior developer it's really gonna be a lot more work now that being said um, I do think that these days it's a lot easier to get a remote position as opposed to years before you know obviously with everything going on so I would definitely still go for it if you're kind of questioning if you can work remotely or not I would still apply anyways you know I've, I've said this before on my channel, there's really no rules when you're applying for a position, even if you don't have the experience, even if you don't have the skills required, what companies want, it's someone that can learn quickly, work effectively, and, and work independently. And all that ties into working remotely as well. So guys, if you can work on these skills, you'll, I don't think you'll have any trouble finding a remote position in 2021, because I think a lot of them are going remote anyways. So I, this definitely should be a goal of yours going into 2021. And guys, so like I said before, if you're, if you're trying to get a remote position and you see that it's not working out and it's been maybe a month, or two, whatever, and um, you, you haven't found a remote position yet, you might wanna take the more you know traditional approach of applying for positions that aren't remote, and then maybe building your experience, building your resume and your portfolio, and then maybe a year or two down the road, I'm sure that you can apply for a remote position and get the, and get the job. So guys, ultimately, it's your decision to make whether you want to go straight away for the remote position or whether you want to take a more traditional route, wait a bit longer to work remotely. I think you should make this decision based on your skills, based on the timeline that you have and the goals that you have for yourself. But there's really no wrong choice, right? If you want to work remotely, go for it. If you want to, if you don't want to yet and you want to build up your skills, go for that. I would recommend all you guys to, you know, apply for remote positions. I think now is a great time and a lot of developers are doing that anyways. Um, I know that my life has improved dramatically. I have a lot more freedom when I work remotely. I can work from different cities. I'm in Florida right now. I, I'm able to play golf and also able to work as well. So guys, it's your decision, but I do recommend working remotely. So guys, if you've enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you think, if there's anything you disagree with, if there's anything anything you think I got wrong or that you know I just missed and you want to add on uh, feel free to comment below again guys hope you had a great new year 2021 is going to be a great year for software developers I think now is a great time to start learning how to code as always it's best to start today and have a good day everyone